Hi everyone, welcome to this getting started tutorial about Syncfusion's Blazor accumulation charts. Just imagine that you would like to display the proportionality of multiple items against the overall total of a group. You can use accumulation charts to visualize these proportions of data in a chart. In this video, I will show you how to create accumulation chart types in a Blazor app. I will also explain how to enable a few of their basic features, like a legend, tooltip, and data labels. First, I will start with the Blazor application creation process. For that, I need to make sure the .NET Core SDK 3.1.3, or a later version is installed in my machine. I should also have Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio 2019 to create a Blazor application. In this tutorial, I am going to create a new Blazor WebAssembly app. So, let me open Visual Studio 2019 and create a new project from the project dashboard. From the list of project templates, I choose Blazor app and click Next. Then, I name my project Accumulation Charts and click the Create button. Next, I choose this Blazor WebAssembly app option and click the Create button to complete the project creation. Now, the project has been created and is ready to use. If you want to know more about Blazor WebAssembly apps and how to add Syncfusion components to one, then you can click on the video link shown in the above YouTube card. Now, let's add the Blazor Accumulation Charts component. First, I need to install the Syncfusion Blazor Charts NuGet package in my application. I open the NuGet package manager by right-clicking the project and choose Manage NuGet Packages. Then, I search for Syncfusion Blazor Charts in the Browse tab and install it in my project. Once the installation is completed, I navigate to the imports.razor file. And here, I add the Syncfusion Blazor Charts namespace. Now, I can start using the Blazor accumulation charts in any of the components available in the Pages folder. Next, I open the program.cs file and add the Syncfusion Blazor namespace. Then, I register the Syncfusion Blazor service by calling the method addSyncfusionBlazor within this main method. Also, I should register the valid license key in my application. So, let me register the trial license key using the register license method. I then need to define the CSS for the Blazor accumulation charts. I navigate to the index.html file under the www.root folder to reference the CSS file from the installed Syncfusion Blazor package. And I will also refer this script file here for better UI interaction. Now everything is configured. Therefore, let me proceed to add the Blazor accumulation charts. First, I need to open the index.razor component. Here, I will include the SF accumulation chart component by replacing the default code. To render an accumulation chart, I need to define the accumulation chart series collection, which is of type array and can contain n number of accumulation chart series definitions inside it. I want to add a single accumulation chart, so I define a single accumulation chart series tag and set its series type as pi. Now, let me start to populate data for the accumulation chart. Within this code block, I will create a model class called chart data model with two fields, browser and users count, as I am going to show mobile browser usage statistics in the chart. Then, I need to create a list of chart data of type chart data model and assign an array of objects to it. Next, I assign this chart data to the data source property and map the data source fields browser to x name and users count to the y name property of the series. Now, I will run this example by pressing the key F5. Look at the output page now. You can see the pie chart displayed with defined data points. Notice here, the chart displaying the legend by default. And you can collapse and expand the series of the chart by clicking on them. To set a title for the chart, I need to define the property title and set its value to mobile browser statistics. So now, you can see the accumulation chart displaying the title mobile browser statistics. Here, I am going to add data labels to the chart. First, I will define the accumulation data label settings tag within this accumulation chart series collection. Then, 
I will set the visible property to true to display the data point information. And now, you can see the Blazor accumulation chart displaying data labels on each of its data points. Okay, next we will make the Blazor accumulation chart more interactive by adding tooltips to it. Within the chart code, I will define the accumulation chart tooltip settings tag. Then, to enable the tooltip, let me define the property enable and set its value to true. See the output shows the tooltip for every data point of the chart. This is the Pi series chart displayed here. Suppose, I want to change the series type to donut. Then, I set the inner radius to 40% within this accumulation chart series tag. So now, you can see a donut chart displayed with data points. For a pyramid chart, I change the series type to pyramid in the accumulation chart series tag. And I will remove the inner radius property to continue further. And a blazer pyramid chart is rendered with data points in the output. To render a funnel chart, I change the series type to funnel here. And now, you can see a blazer funnel chart displayed with data points. In this video, we have seen how to create a blazer project using Visual Studio and add a SyncFusion blazer accumulation chart component in a WebAssembly app. We have discussed how to render the accumulation chart series types with basic features like a legend, data labels, and a tooltip. If you would like to see the working example, you can download it from the GitHub link shared in the description part below. You can also see if you qualify for a free license key to use our Blazor products if you fit into our community license guidelines. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.